Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ, uh, sharing about lean not on your own understanding. 1 Samuel chapter 16, uh, starting from verse 1, And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil and go, and I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehem, the Bethlehemite. For I have provided me a, a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take an heifer with thee and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice. And I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of, just a moment, the town trembled at his coming and said, Thomas, thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on his, the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are there all, are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Wow. So, um, of course, we, if, you, if you've been, if you've noticed uh, account, this incident that happened, Saul was rejected by the Lord because um, of his pride. Oops, sorry. Because of his pride. He um, did not do what the Lord said in his position, his position as king, so God rejected him. And so here we see God is sending Samuel, the prophet, to anoint a king that he has chosen to lead Israel. But notice, interestingly, that, that um, it was a very precarious situation. So Samuel had to um, be given, has had to wait for instructions at the right time. It, everything could not be shown or revealed to him because it would have compromised Samuel. It would have put him in a dangerous position. So the less he knew, the better. He could not lean on his own understanding. He just had to... Uh, obey. So notice the Lord says, I will tell you who, you know, when the time is right. And the Lord gave him some instructions. So Samuel um, did not have the full, inf full information. He just knew that he was supposed to do the sacrifice and call Jesse to this sacrifice. And he obeyed. And now we see here the sons that came, you know, that were paraded before Samuel. And I'm so sorry for my clumsy uh, holding of this book uh, this morning. But uh, it says here, the first one was Iliab. Now, the name Iliab, it means to whom God is father. And God says, no, this is not the 
person um, I am looking for. The other one, Abinadab, means my father is noble or my father is willing. Not him either. Shama, the Lord is there. Not him either. But David, his name means beloved. That was the one. And when you look throughout the Bible, you see that, you know, um, it is God's love on us that um, makes him choose us. It's his love. It's the love of the Father um, that uh, pulls us into his family. And notice that Samuel, when he first looked at Eliab, Eliab looked a tall probably, and he was the firstborn child. So legal, uh, you would have thought, well, this is the firstborn child. Firstborn is usually the heir in those days. And um, probably he looked um, mature and like he had it all together. But God said, no, this is not the one. And you see later it revealed what that Ilya really didn't have any kind of a faith because in 1 Samuel 16, 6, later, he spoke contemptuously to David when David was um, prepared to fight Goliath. Um, if you read 1 Samuel uh, 16, verse 6, you see the heart of those brothers. They did not have the faith. So a lot of times we see a situation whereby we're looking at people uh, with a worldly point of view, or we're looking at the situation with through human eyes, but God doesn't look at things through human eyes. God does not see as man see it. People look at the outward appearance of things. God looks at the heart of people. He looks at their motive. He sees the bigger picture and he's gonna protect you and protect your choices. So you can't lean on your own understanding. You have to, like how Samuel did it, wait for the Lord. And then when David came, you know, when, when, uh, what God chose came, it was a good thing. It says that he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance means that he was handsome. He was a good looking guy and he had a, his, his good hearted and good naturedness showed on his face. And so ultimately the best person was anointed. So just similarly, if you're going through uh, uncertainty in your life, um, come with the attitude and the approach that you're going to let God direct and lead your steps because Jesus goes ahead of us and he leads our, our path to life. Jesus does not lead us into destruction or um, uh, things that are going to cause us to uh, lose our faith or trust in God or compromise our relationship with God. He leads us in the light and in the right path. So follow Jesus, know where Jesus would, would, would or would not take you and um, your path will work itself out. God bless, hope you have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.